All right, y'all, today I'm gonna to be talking to y'all about the two different types of gratification. So obviously we got instant gratification. We're gonna give y'all two summaries of each. So instant gratification, and then we got delayed gratification. So what instant gratification is, is when you're basically doing something that you know in the long run is not gonna benefit you, but you're doing it anyway because whether you don't have enough respect for yourself to, you know, push back, push back those urges to say, F this. I'm not going to watch Netflix for three hours. I'm not going to hit the snooze button. You hit it anyways. You do what you know you're going to feel badly about yourself after doing because you're probably weak minded and you can't really control your urges, you know. And then on the right hand side, we got delayed gratification. This person is the person that is tired. He sees, oh, the alarm goes off. The snooze button is right there, but no, I'm not gonna hit it. I'm not gonna be late to work. I'm not gonna be late to school. I'm not gonna start off the day, you know, having 10 less minutes, 15 less minutes than usual just because I was slightly tired. Let me wake my ass up, eat some breakfast, take a shower, and then I'll feel better afterwards. So, I mean, that's just like a few examples. Obviously, there's a lot more examples. I took some notes before I started this video to let y'all know about what my thoughts of it. Obviously, y'all know I'm into the gym a lot. We got two dogs right here. All right. So, y'all know I'm into the gym a lot. Gym is a perfect example of delayed gratification. You know, when you first start the gym, you might be out of shape, you might be overweight. You know, you might you might get judged, you know, it might not feel good. You might not want to go for that run, you might not want to work out. But you know in the long run, if you do it, if you go to the gym, if you push yourself consistently, it's going to pay off. That's delayed gratification is going to the gym you know, doing your schoolwork, doing your homework, you know, starting your business now, doing your research on whatever you're gonna, you want to improve in the future, instead of just sitting down, enjoying life, life is great, or I don't think that's what people think when they're having instant gratification, but I wrote down a few, a few things that are instant gratification and delayed gratification. So we got instant gratification. We got video games. <sighs> Good old video games. People still ask me if I play video games to this day. People slide in my DMs. Hey, did you see the new video game that came out? You wanna play with me? Never, nevertheless, junk food. Junk food's a great, great version of instant gratification, you know. It's gonna taste good. If I want to eat it, this burger, this cookie, this brownie, it's gonna taste amazing when you first eat it, right? You're gonna be thinking about, oh, I can't wait to eat this sugar, this little frosting. And then after you eat it, you have, what, 20 seconds of pleasure. And then after, you know, you might feel a little, a little fat you might feel like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm gonna have to do more cardio tomorrow. Like, yeah, yeah. Scrolling social media, scrolling social media. You know, these, these platforms are designed. They want you to be scrolling all day, you know, having nothing, nothing better to do. They don't want you to not be using the platform. That's why they try to program you. They want you to be on the platform. And you have, to, you have to realize that. You might be on TikTok, you might be scrolling, 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 not even realizing how addicting it is, you know? So social media is a, a big addiction for people, big addiction. I, I still struggle with it, because I'm always on it, because I produce content. So it's very easy for someone like me, because if I wasn't producing content, I would not have social media at all. The only reason I even have it is because I'm actually trying to benefit off of it. 
So, next one we got Netflix. I mean, Netflix is kind of just like social media. I mean, you're just sitting down, you know, watching other people. I mean, I watch Netflix sometimes. I mean, Netflix is, oh well, you can live without it, but. Don't be a hypocrite. You can watch Netflix a little bit. A little bit. Don't overdo it, though. And I said, I said snooze button. You know. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is with the snooze button. You wake up. You're tired. You you don't want to be late, though. You don't want if you If you hit the snooze button, think about this. You're going to start the day off at a disadvantage. You're going to be like, oh, I'm in a rush now. Like, you might get 10, 10 more minutes of sleep, but... It, like when you're already at work, when you're already at school, you realize that 10 minutes of sleep just didn't really matter at all. You just, you were just too tired to wake up at that exact moment. So don't hit the snooze button guys. And last one, we got corn. If, if y'all want me to talk about this, I have a very strong opinion on this subject. If y'all want me to talk about this, like, hit me in the comments. <sighs> yeah. I've been on NoFap for over two years. I will proudly say it. I do not watch porn. <sighs> Corn, I meant. I, Sauce and Lifts, does not watch corn. I don't do it. I will explain that in another video. If y'all if, uh, if y'all want me to talk about why I don't do that, hit me in the comments. <sighs> Delayed gratification. We got going to the gym consistently. Obviously, eating healthy consistently. Building healthy relationships. You know, this this versus scrolling on social media nowadays, you can't even, you know have dinner with, with your family without wanting to scroll on social media. You can't even have lunch at school without all of your friends scrolling on social media. Like, building healthy relationships, I mean, in the long run, obviously, it's gonna be way more fulfilled than scrolling on social media. Cause I would say this, if, if this was short form, I would say, Tell me the last three videos that you watched. If I if this was on TikTok, I would say, tell me the last three videos that you watched. Do you remember the last three videos that you watched? And if that's a no, that explains why scrolling on social media is a big waste of time. Eating healthy foods, going in nature. <sighs> going in nature, I said going in nature and I said meditating. Me, I go in nature a lot. I, I'm i currently working on meditating. You know, just take five days. Just start with five, five days. Just start with five minutes. You know what? I'm gonna make a promise to y'all. After this video, I'm going to sit down right here for five minutes and I'm gonna say, three seconds, what is it? Three seconds in, six seconds out. I'm going to meditate. I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm a man of my word. I'm going to meditate five minutes. I'm gonna set a timer. And that's my, my little summary. Delayed versus instant gratification. You know, instant gratification is basically, you have cravings, you have, you have certain urges. You know, all of a sudden you're thinking about this, this thing that you, and your, your, your soul knows that it's unhealthy. When you go to do it, you know, you might have like a part of your brain telling you, don't do this, don't do this. But then you have another part of your brain that is just like wiring your brain to tell you, this is the weak part of your brain that's telling you, no, like it's okay, like just this one more time and then I'll stop eating junk food and then I'll stop watching this. You know, that is intergratification. You do not want to be that guy. The urge to satisfy. So this is the this is the the definition on Google. The urge. Yeah. 
can't talk, so awesome. The urge to satisfy a craving right away without considering its long-term effects or a bigger picture. Delayed gratification, the resistance to temptation of an immediate pleasure in the hope of a ta- of, yeah. I can't talk. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all are witnessing my journey right now. I need to get better at speech. That is the goal. I'm trying to get my speech on point. Delayed gratification. The resistance to temptation of an immediate pleasure on the hope of obtaining a value and a long lasting. I can't even read my, my damn hand on it. Basically, yes. Right now, you're going to sacrifice whatever pleasure. And then in the long run, it's going to be beneficial for you. That's what delayed is. So I hope y'all enjoy this, this brief summary. You know, I could go into detail about each and every subject if y'all wanted me to in the comments. I mean, I'm gonna try to push out a lot more YouTube videos. It's my goal. One thing, you know, I was talking to my friend, he was like, YouTube is the biggest form of delayed gratification right there because I have more followers on other platforms. I'm gonna get more likes on other platforms, but I want to build a community Sorry. I want to build a community. I want a lot of people to, you know, experience my self-improvement journey. I want a lot of people to experience their self-improvement journey through me, too. Like, I want other people, you know, potentially if they looked up to me, to be like, yeah, like, I look up to Sawston Lifts. And, like, he's he's helped me on my fitness journey, my self-improvement journey. So, like, I want to be that guy that people look at and they're like, yeah, like, he's... He's a great guy to look up to, you feel me? But nevertheless, that's my that's my video. It's my it's my opinion. Let me know in the comments which y'all want to see me yeah, which y'all want to see me talk about on YouTube. I actually just got a new mic, so let's hope the mic is actually on <laughs> because if this oh oh. Thank you, thank you God. So, yeah, have a great day. Remember, you, don't, you do not want to give in to your urges. The man who gives in to his urges is a weak-minded man. You do not want to be that guy. One day at a time, y'all, and peace out.